Looking Glass, Judy Watson and Ioanni Skars has arisen from an invitation to collaborate from the Icon Gallery in Birmingham. The curator, Hetty Perkins, describes this exhibition as both a love song and lament for country. The representation of country in the exhibition is paramount, both in the natural forms that Judy Watson paints and videos in her work, and the bush plums and bush bananas and yams that Yuani has used with her glass blowing sculptures. In a sense, there's an unexpected synergy between these two artists, which makes this exhibition very special. Judy's work is inspired by the stories of her grandmother and her grandmother's country in far north Queensland, as well as her exploration of the standing stone circles in the United Kingdom. She's asking us to consider the different ways each culture deals with and honours its ancient landscapes. The works by Ioannik Skars in the exhibition are made from hand-blown glass. These works specifically look at the effects of the atomic blasts at Maralinga in the 1950s and the devastation that occurred to the Indigenous peoples on that land. Yuani has created a sensational new piece which comprises a thousand glass blown yams suspended from the ceiling of the museum in the shape of a lethal atomic cloud. The work Cloud Chamber is inspired by the nuclear tests in South Australia in the 1950s. It's quite an important work for me because of growing up knowing about the nuclear tests in South Australia and uh, knowing that lack of information that was uh, surrounding those tests as well and the importance of the involvement of my birthplace Woomera. Judy and I talk about connection to country quite a lot in our work and what I hope visitors will take away from this exhibition is two Aboriginal women working together on Aboriginal issues and the, the treatment of Aboriginal people. We were brought together by an amazing curator called Hetty Perkins. So there's three really strong women I think that are wanting to educate people through art. The importance of acknowledging the dark history of, of how Aboriginal people were treated and are treated, I think, in Australia. It's still quite a current issue. And I think it's a beautiful way to be able to address history 